In this video, you will learn about the Action Manager and how to define load combinations. Let's start with the Action Manager. We already came across the Action Manager in Sophie Plus earlier. There, in the Load Case tab, it is the first part of the Load Case Manager. Any changes to the actions in the Action Manager are synchronized with the Action Manager in the Sophistic Structural Desktop and vice versa. The same is true for materials and cross sections. Ok, now let's create load combinations. Double click on the combination rule task in the project navigation. On the left you can see predefined combinations based on the selected design code. This includes the actions from earlier. When you select a combination, action or load case, detailed information appears on the right side. To apply changes to a combination, for example, to consider only load case number 3, you must confirm the change by clicking the apply button. You can create combinations, assign actions and select the considered load cases. To create a new combination, select the combination rule. Now choose the type of combination you want to create. To learn more about the differences between the combination types, press the F1 key on your keyboard, then the manual opens. For this example, let's create a new Eurocode based combination rule. First, assign the number 111 to the new combination and select its type. Let's stick with the default. Also, specify the offset for the result load case number. Set it to 2500. The default option, semi-automatic, is active. This means that all superposed result load cases will start with the number 2500 and count upwards. Don't forget to apply your changes. In the combination list, you can now find the new combination 111. Let's add an action to be considered for this combination, the load action G. You can override combination factors coming from the action manager. These manual modifications will override the factors for this particular combination. Now you need to select the load cases that shall be considered in the combination. As you can see, all load cases of the type G are included by default. Variable loads shall also be added to this combination. Add another action to the combination and select action Q and apply all variable loads. Don't forget to click the apply button in the middle of the task. The combination number 111 now includes dead load and variable load. Close the dialog box with OK and apply all modifications to the project. This brings us to the end of this video.